Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess, if you didn't already know, and you are now up in the princess lifestyle. So today I am showing you guys my birthday makeup. My birthday was on October 25th. We're a little, um, we're a little bit past that now, but I still wanted to give you guys the look because so many of you on Instagram Listen, the harassment has been real. You guys have really wanted to see this look. So here we are. So the first thing I am using is a drugstore primer. Crazy, right? So I'm using um, the CoverGirl True Blend Mattifying Primer. I don't think that this primer has a lot of wear time. And I don't even really know, like I don't really consider it matte because of the way it goes on. I don't know if they mislabeled this or what, but it's not really matte. It's just, it's super hydrating to me and doesn't really combat oil for me. It doesn't really mattify me, but I just like the way it feels on my skin and I think that it is a really good base for makeup. Sorry about that. So yeah, I think it's a really good base. Um, as you can see, I don't exactly look matte but it does get a little bit matte over time. So the foundation that I'm using is my Milk Makeup Liquid Foundation, and I just wanted um, a really dewy look. So that's why I went with this foundation, and I combined um, two colors, I think cocoa and espresso, I think. Cocoa and espresso, or cocoa and something else. But yeah, I combined the two colors because one's undertone is too red for me, and then the other one is, um, it's like a shade lighter than I am by my chest, but the two combined um, balance out pretty well and I just like the way it looks on me. So I'm just blending it out. Um, it's a very easy foundation to blend. Uh, the coverage is great. You guys, um, I have a review for it. I'll pin it somewhere at the top. Like you can just click the eye if you need to see the review. And um, yeah, it's a good foundation. I think it's a, a good foundation to opt for as the weather gets colder and colder. Yeah, so my birthday was on October 25th and honestly, this is the best birthday I have ever had. I didn't do anything specific, I didn't do anything special. Um, I don't even know if I did anything at all besides buy myself some gifts. But what made it so special is that I had every single person in my life that loves me with me all in the same place at the same time. And it really just made me feel so good. And this was, this was better than any birthday I've ever had. The past birthdays that I've had up until this point were like the last... I don't know, decade. <laughs> they haven't been easy. They have not been easy at all. I spoke about it briefly on my Instagram and I told you guys that um, I used to get really depressed around my birthday and leading up to my birthday. The depression would start like sometime in mid to late August. I would see, I would like feel myself getting sad randomly. And then on my birthday, I would just cry and I would feel inadequate, I would feel like I haven't accomplished anything, I would feel like, you know, nothing's going right in my life. And um, I mean, I wasn't feeling those things for no reason. Some of them were factual and others were just, you know, lies of the enemy. It was me battling self-esteem, me battling my position in life and me just going through a lot, but I was able to be delivered from that. I was able to move past it and for the past like maybe two, three birthdays, I've caught that depression before it could get to me and you know, I rebuke it. I go against it and I say, you don't have any place within my birthday and you are not going to, you know, do this. You're not gonna ruin my birthday, okay? You're not, you don't have the authority to do that. So this birthday was the best. And I really couldn't have asked for anything more. No material thing could have equated to the happiness that I felt that day, honestly.
so yeah this is the look by the way this is the look I don't I, I sort of went off on a tangent but I didn't talk through this tutorial I actually had to film this tutorial twice so this skin that I'm doing right here is like one half in one day I had to refilm this part and then when you guys see the eye look that was filmed like maybe two or three days before so I had to combine the two videos because you know things were happening okay this this is a, a whole look together that's what matters all right so I'm using a lot of hooded beauty products um a lot of my favorites like the tantor I love to use that for tantor for contouring it's a really good product and it's super mattifying stays put and all that good stuff so yeah and the overachiever concealer I don't know why I have um, not used that concealer more often but it is such a good concealer you guys I use the shade peanut butter um, you can go a little bit lighter than that if you want to, but I just like the way peanut butter balances my face out. And it's a really, really good concealer. If you haven't tried it yet, I suggest you do. It's mattifying, but it, it hydrates you so well that it doesn't give an ashy look at all. And you guys know, I'm not really a matte look kind of girl like at all I just I don't know that's just I just love looking dewy people say oh why are you put on all that makeup just for it to not look you know matte at the end I don't like that dry look I like for my skin to look awake and alive and healthy so that's why I use the products that I use that's why I prep my skin the way I prep it beforehand I didn't show all of my skin prep in this video I don't know we might have to make a separate skin prep type video like I don't know maybe lump it in with a skincare routine or something but I'm very very adamant about looking fresh and in my opinion when you mattify yourself so 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 much it's not a fresh look it's like an older type look it, it honestly does age you it makes you look older and I'm not interested in looking older okay I'm forever 21 even though I'm glad I'm not 21 anymore. That was a that was a rough year. 21 was a rough year. Anyway, we're getting off on a tangent, you guys. Let's stay focused, okay? All right. So yeah, I'm just uh, blending in the powder that I use, and I am contouring and blushing myself down with my Juvia's Place Warrior Two palette, you guys. I can't stress enough how important this palette is and I believe Juvia's Place is having a 50% off sale on their website. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just watched their Instagram story and they said that they are having a 50% off sale on their website and I think this palette is only like $15 at regular price. So half of that, y'all can do the math, but I think when I was seeing people put this palette in their cart I think it came down to like six dollars I don't remember the exact price but it's super cheap you guys if you don't get anything from Juvia's Place definitely get this palette you can literally use it for your entire face so now we can get to the eyes these are the shades I'm gonna be using um, as I said before I had to chop and screw these this video together I filmed both of these sections of this video on two different days because I just had to Ex extenuating circumstances okay but I absolutely love this Huda Beauty palette so Huda Beauty came out with um, a nude obsessions palette collection I don't know what to call it but she came up with three different palettes and each palette is supposed to be suitable for each demographic of skin tone so um, the palette that I'm using here is the Rich palette and that's supposed to be suitable for dark skin tones and it is a gorgeous palette. I asked you guys on my Instagram story what palette you wanted me to use first. Everybody overwhelmingly, like literally overwhelmingly said the Rich palette. You guys were not here for the light palette 
for the, I think it's the medium palette. I don't know what the names are, but everybody wanted to see this palette and everybody I've been seeing on Instagram, whether you're light skin, dark skin, um, white, Asian, Indian, um, I've seen multiple people use this palette and it fits every single skin tone. It looks gorgeous on everybody. It's so beautiful. So um, if you're in the market for a new palette, if you want a new eye look, I mean eyeshadow palette, this this is definitely a palette that you should look into. Um, it's perfect for the holidays. It, all the shimmery, sh shimmery shades in this palette are gorgeous. And the one that I used, I didn't even realize that it was going to be like this reflective pink situation. I don't know what I thought it would be, but it is absolutely stunning. And this look, honestly, is my favorite look to date. I'm gonna tell you guys in advance, I don't remember the name of this MAC lip gloss that I'm using. It was not limited edition, but it was discontinued, so you guys wouldn't be able to get it. I don't think so, either way. But it was just a lip gloss that was pink and shimmery, and it matched my lid color, so I was like, hey, let's, let's use it you know this is such a uh it's a low-key bridal like bridesmaid type of look um it's just gorgeous this is my birthday makeup i thoroughly enjoyed my birthday and i looked amazing while enjoying it it's not i didn't even go anywhere but baby i look good okay i looked great so this is the look i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you all in my next video make sure you like and subscribe and also follow me on instagram because that's where i am most of the time okay i love you guys goodbye